Hi, I'm Paul Moyer and in this video I'm going to show you the new turbo method of taking out the calculated cost of items and replacing it with an actual quote. Okay, so we've done uh, a job here and now I want to enter some actual quotes. So I simply click on the enter actual quotes and you've got two options. You've got the old standard one. If you click on say trade link, you know that you have to go through each of these items and then choose whichever one it is, like electrical for instance, you go through each item and then you delete those. But what we found was some of our builders were forgetting that there was also electrical in air conditioning and uh, hot water and uh, maybe also in um, the uh, renovations or in rooms etc. So they were missing out on items. So we've redeveloped the whole thing and we've done this. So if we enter the actual quotes, and we go to the GDX Turbo Interactual Quote System, you can add a new quote. Now these are the ones we already have in there, so I want to add a new one in, and it's going to be the electrician, and the electrician is Sparks Electrical. Okay, and the quote number is 7865, and the date's today's date for the quote, and then the actual cost for the electrical uh, came in at $4,400. Okay, so that's all there is for putting in Sparks Electrical, the electrician and his quote, and you hit the save button. Okay, so now you see you've got Sparks Electrical in there. So if I select it, here's all the items that have just been costed in the actual quote itself. It's only a small job, and so it's the electrician. So all we need to do to replace it is to replace the calculated cost of the material, and the program takes it out and replaces it with actual sparks. Now this one here, you see the 198, it hasn't taken that out because that's not by the electrician, it's actually being done by the electrical PC supplier. And then we of course can take out the labor as well, so we click on the blue electrician labor, and that will replace it. And so now we've replaced all the electrical costs with the actual Sparks quote. And then over here, you'll see the original quote was uh, 4840, that's including GST, and then it was actually calculated as 4349. So in other words, they're reasonably close. If there was too much difference between those two, uh, then you'd either start looking for a new subby, or you've got to go back to your central price list and then readjust your prices in the uh, price list. Now I'll do another one for you. We'll uh, add another quote. And again, we want to put the plumber in there, so I can add a new quote, and it's the plumber. So we go down to plumbing, and I simply type in the plumber's name. Well, it's a no drip plumbing. Okay, and his quote number was 8989. Today's quote as well, and then the cost for the plumber was $6,800. Okay, so again, I've just put in the actual quote. All right, so here we are here now. You've got no drip plumbing. These are all the items that the program has allocated to the plumber. And then we simply replace the calculated uh, cost for the materials and the labor. So we just click on the pink and click on the blue. And the program will then take out the calculated cost and replace it with, as you can see, no drip plumbing. Now, if you can't see the full um, uh, name, just hold your mouse over widen list and it'll put it straight out. And the same with this one here, so that you can see the full name and also the uh, quote number. And if you move your mouse up here, it'll send it back in again. Okay, so just hold your mouse over or move it out and it'll increase it again. Okay, so you see here that the quoted cost was 7480, the calculated cost was 5600, so there's a fair bit of difference in that one. So I would probably start to look at maybe some of the plumbing prices. If you want to see maybe say a trade link, okay, that's the PC supplier. Here's the items. Now you can see that John Chippy, the uh, framing carpenter, is actually putting in the soap holders and the towel rails and what have you. Uh, but if I want to take the material cost out, I simply replace the calculated cost and then that takes it out and it puts Trade Link in. Okay, so uh, Trade Link is supplying the materials. John Chippy is the carpenter and he's putting the items in. The plumbing taps and everything are being done by No Drip Plumbing. And you can hold your mouse over it. So you see in that particular item, you've got two or three different suppliers and subbies. If I take also maybe say uh, Rob the Roofer, he's the metal roofing supplier. And you can see we've already replaced his. 
and uh, the quoted cost came to 2750 uh, but it was actually calculated to 3168 so that's pretty good. You've got a few hundred dollars up your sleeve. Uh, if I look at, say, Borrel Concrete, okay, here's the items for the concrete, and as you can see, we've already replaced it. And you've got about 4,900 to 4,400. So again, that's reasonably close as well. Now, if you want to reinstate the prices, simply click on reinstate the calculated cost of the concrete supply materials. And the same with the labor. And it'll put the actual prices back in again. Okay, so simply by clicking on these ones, it'll take them out. And by clicking on these ones, It'll put it back but you see in the turbo version the program can find automatically for you everything which is allocated to any of the um, concreters or electricians or excavators so here's the excavator here and uh, if you've put a price in for that you can just take those items out there okay if you find that something is uh, wrong you want to reassign you simply right click and then you can reassign that to whomever you want now you can also show all the items in the job and you can also make it full screen. So it makes it a bit easier to be able to see the full list and who's doing what. So here you've got TradeLink, John uh, Chippy, and then um, you've got your Windows suppliers and it goes right down through the whole list. Okay, so uh, then if you want to see less, you just click on see less. If you need to do a search, of course, something uh, maybe say for a gas hot water system, just type in gas, hit the search button, and the program will find the gas for you. And it tells you that um, no drip plumbing is actually supplying the materials, and they're also doing the labor. Okay, so that's pretty much how the program works. You can search by job category as well if you wanted to okay so you can uh, you know search by external walls and it'll give you all the items in the external wall uh, the same with the um, sub your supply which is the one we just had or you can show all items in the job so essentially if I did say um, the chippy and I wanted to go back to see what all his prices were, I can just reinstate his prices and the program will go through and take out his quote and replace it with the actual calculated costs. And because there's hundreds and hundreds of uh, uh, items that uh, the chip is doing in this particular job, of course, it takes a minute or two to do. Okay, so here we are again, you see all the actual costs are put back in and it's the framing carpenter. I've got uh, John Chippy, He's the framing carpenter, and if I wanted to replace the calculated cost with his actual quote, I simply click on those two buttons up the top there, and the program will go through, take out the calculated cost, and replace it with the actual quote. Okay, so you see all the dollar values have gone, and we know exactly who the um, tradesman is that's actually going to do that work. Okay, now when you uh, click on a quote here, you can just deselect it if you wanted to. Uh, you can delete the entire quote and start from scratch. Now, if you get another, well, let's do these sparkies. Let's say you get a second electrician's quote in and it's a bit better than the other one. You can change it, change the name. Okay, we'll just say it's uh, Fred's Electrical. And um, you can change the cost. And let's say it's uh, 4100. And you can change the quote number. So and then hit the save button and the program then if I reinstate that electrician so I just now go to um, Fred's electrical he's the electrician and uh, I've taken out all the actual uh, costs and we've put in the new quote which was uh, 4100 plus GST of course so if you get two or three quotes in and one's cheaper than the other you can very quickly switch it from the original one to the new one Okay, so that's pretty much how the new Turbo uh, Enter uh, actual quotes works as opposed to the old one where you had to try and remember what items were in what sections of the job. With this one, the program actually allocates every item to an individual sub or supplier.